Hey fam, how y'all doing? Just checking back with you, trying to drop another video, and we're going to get right on into it. But before we do it, we are going to thank some newcomers that have come, wanting to join the family affair. Their names are Talika Murray, uh, MCAT, Neleb, Neleb, Bossing Williams, Deborah Randall, and Jeanette Sweeney. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, hugs and kisses all the way around. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Relax. Drink your uh, beverage, beverage of choice. And let us roll into this next video. Of course, we're going to be talking about none other than Candy Burris. Okay. And she has a cute little story out on herself and her daughter, Riley. We get it from Celebrity Insider. Uh, Alex or uh, Alexis Stone wrote it for celebrityinsider.org that must be her boss her employment and she's over there dropping down salacious stories or interesting stories i should say to f f uh for us to take part of okay but we still going into that theory of mk ultra um how these ce celebrities get down in the entertainment world and all of the Masonic and all of the Freemason and all the Illuminati stuff that goes along with it. If you care to believe it or get into it. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm sorry, my daughter's out there sitting out there getting on my nerves. And just take a look at some of the videos that are um, the visuals. I'm giving you all with all these hand signals. Again, I've just told y'all, do y'all due diligence and uh, educate yourselves on that so you won't be fooled throughout your whole lifetime on this earth, okay? And just how, if you want to succeed in Hollywood, some of the things that you're going to have to get down with. And that peace sign people be throwing up, nope, it does not mean... Uh, peace like everything's cool everything's shaking down you know that is a fantabulous beautiful home that candy birds has right there and then you have another picture she's throwing up the peace sign too that doesn't mean that it means a satanic type of hand gesture all right don't believe me check into it okay and some of her videos and some of her pictures of herself seem satanic look at that picture is anything glory and good about that all right just moving on going back to this article that alexis stone wrote out on celebrity insiders platform and it goes like this the subtitle or the title of her article candy birds amazes fans by twinning with her daughter riley birds in this latest photo okay a lot of heavy hitters just a sidebar Pol uh political figures figures um that's Maury Povich. You know, he's throwing out the little hand sign as well. Anybody in the entertainment industry, whether it's politics, whether it's uh, singing or artists, even got a little girl doing it. Ain't that something? That's Fantasia, her friend uh, from back in the day and still probably is. But, and you know, like I said, all the presidential people, they throw up the goat Baphomet sign as well. Even Giselle Bryant over there at Potomac. Uh, housewives and Candace right there saluting with her looking very devilish as I should say and just like I said get into these um, uh, uh, articles and it'll tell you about the transition period of what's going on because as we know OLG just had got shot up over there in Riverdale uh, Camp Creek area uh, and they had three people they do go on meaning the uh satanic cult realm they do uh thrive in putting out numbers out there numbers are another big secret that's kept but it means a lot to them uh when they throwing out different things and i'm just thinking did candy bird sacrifice that young man that she was gonna marry they had about 10 or 12 kids now it might have been six but i'm just going over it and then you know former first lady you know get down see how she do things and candy birds was taking pictures with her as well her and her husband todd tucker i couldn't find a picture of it but i've seen it on the net so it, it just you know make you believe or make you uh think a little harder than normally and you remember malik came out talking about he's transgender attractive i don't know what the hell that means it's either you gay or not gay just be a part of the community and let have or just stay 
<laughs> stay silent because evidently you seem like you're confused. They even have it in cartoons for our kids to partake of. We don't really look at it because we're not looking at it with the naked eye. We're just looking at it just to be entertained. But when you're trying to be informed, you start looking at a lot of things. Their hand gestures, their signs. And you see, that was a modest type home that you and I could afford. Um, uh, you know, from just a meager beginning or just, you know, working out there every day. That was like, you know, a starter home or, you know, a home where you had worked pretty good and, you know, just an everyday blow Joe G well for. But look at the house she has now, honey. Isn't that a mansion on top of a mansion? Okay, I'm just saying. Certain things you got to do to excel to get where you want to be. And again, like I said, you know, Todd Tucker's mother died, you know, just really out the blue. Uh, was that a sacrifice he had made, in a sense, to show his allegiance? And, or was it going to be between Mama Joyce or Sharon? I'm just saying. Not in this latest article. I'm just going by the pictures. Probably not. Um, but it just is what it is. You know, you don't have to necessarily have a sacrifice where you take somebody's life. It could be sacrificing your demeanor, who you are, dehumanizing you as such. Uh, it just goes into many different facets, okay? But it's all hooked up in Hollywood and how they get down. So, like I said, if you want to definitely partake of uh, that Hollywood life, go ahead and you'll see how far you have to go. That's why you wonder about these uh, one-hit wonders. They didn't want to go that far. They didn't want to get taken to that casting couch. They didn't want to get, you know, pretty much selling their soul to the devil to reap the rewards of calling yourself uh, you done made it. And see, that's another very unflattering picture. And it's why it's all in dark. And why you got the cross on your breast. That that ain't uh -uh, that ain't right. And what what's up with these X's and stuff, meaning ten? What type of symbolism is that? What is what is all these crosses? What that another one I symbol that's mace. Uh he called himself having a uh, a church, a following. But why is he doing the uh one eye symbol? You see what I'm saying? Educate yourself, people. Educate before you start trying to follow these folks and put them on a, such a high pedestal when they ain't going nothing but straight to hell. Okay? In a handbasket. And again, she says, stay prayed up. Well, Candy, who are you praying to, baby? Because all the warriors over here, and she's doing that one-eye symbolism again. We don't practice satanic stuff. I'm hoping and praying. Okay, I know what I do, but I don't know what my family do. You know what I'm saying? Even my biological family. They might be doing things behind closed doors. I don't know. But why would, uh, you know, President, well, he ain't president no more, but he was a good figure of a president when he was in turn. Why is he throwing up the Baphomet sign? Why is Candy and all this seductive type uh, dungeon dragging out? You see it's all red and looks satanic looking you see what i'm saying then you got your daughter up there doing the peace sign which we already know for those who know who can hear and see we know that's not the peace sign so have you indoctrinated her then she's doing the uh, uh so uh above as done above so below she's doing that little hand signal and then we got this you see where it says this uh in the middle of the bottom it as it is above it done it is below no, whatever's done in the uh, realm of the Lord, mm -mm, that's holy. And we're just sitting up there being blessed to be in his presence, okay? So, look up that, what I was just saying, as so, well, as above, so below. You'll get some edification there. But going back to this latest article, because we don't want to miss out on some stories that she's given us. Um in between time while I'm breaking in and out trying to get my sidebar let's go on and finish it, finish up her article it says Candy Burris posted a couple of pics on her social media account in which she looks exactly like her daughter Riley Burris she's wearing pink and she definitely looks as if she's aging backwards now how can you age backwards that's just like that button Benjamin Button story they had out in the movie theater some years ago where he was uh aging back to the like an infant stage. We can't age back and it's there is no fountain of view. So what are they doing? Are they cloning these people? You know what I'm saying? Because you can't <laughs> you can't age backwards, I'm sorry. Unless you do a lot of uh surgery, but you're still not gonna look you know, age is still going to peep through and you're still going to have to get those jobs done. So, it's amazing me how some of these people are definitely aging backwards. 
uh, like, you know, they have nothing going on with them that's going to penetrate age. Now, of course, you see Mama Joyce and Mama Sharon, they age pretty well. But I wanted to Mama Joyce get uh, Candy into the satanic realm just to get her in the profile of wanting to have her daughter be among the rich and famous, okay, before it was her time because we know she didn't make it that well on her own as a solo artist. And so with Tiny introducing her, I'm guessing she the one brought her in the fold as well. And I'm not talking about nothing good. I'm talking about something bad. And exposed her to a lot of things that she said she could get with it. That's where allegedly I'm not really sure. Okay, but just, just how when you say you want things, be careful for what you ask for because you just may get it. And you might not want all of it, but you remember you prayed for it, you wished for it, you hoped for it, you dreamed for it. And here it is. All right. And I kind of feel taught as uh, Candace little um, handler as well. I'm pretty sure that, you know, some strange things went down with his mama's death. And that's why he feels like he's entitled. He's old. He's due. Because he's done what he needed to do to put candy birds on the map by what he did allegedly to his mom. Somewhat what Kanye is speculated that he did to his mother. Okay? Remember that. Uh, but going back to the article, it says, someone said, um, or thought this was Riley. And another follower agreed and said, looking like Riley. Another commenter wrote, had to stop. Thought this was Riley. Laugh out loud. Looking good, Mrs. Burrs Tucker. And one other follower posted this. Thought this was Riley for a second. For real. Okay. Yeah, because um, Riley was kind of slimming down. But it's like she getting kind of thick. But it still looked good. And in this picture that I'm seeing on Candy Burris's Instagram account, she has on a pink leather jacket or pleather. Uh, pink Adidas shoes and um, black jeans uh, and a black um, halter top or something, something to that. Might be a, a T or whatever. But uh, Candy looking kind of thick again too. So uh, I knew all that stuff with drinking uh, these different supplements wasn't going to do right for her. And I think she like exercise. She kind of like me, but she's better off than me because, oh, child. Um... That's another whole story. Okay, but I'm, I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work on it, guys. I promise I'm going to lose some of this weight. Because that's why it's causing me to have to take breaks in my breathing and, and things of that nature. And if I bother people about me having my sinus problems, deal with it. Okay, just deal with it. Love on me anyway. Okay, we all have our flaws and our imperfections. Okay, thank you, family. But anyway, um, yeah, the picture is cute. But like I said, I knew Candy wasn't going to hold it together with uh, just drinking her meal. She has to definitely get down and eat something as well. But see, that's another little hand signal. Our first formal lady uh, is doing donning or whatnot. So we pretty much know how she get down as well. But going back to the article, it says a commenter posted the following. Girl, you are too cute. You're my favorite ATL housewife. Another commenter posted, wow, I thought this was Riley until it came into focus. So cute. And one other follower said, there she goes again. Can I can't with you. You kill everything you wear. Another Instagrammer told the Real Housewives of Atlanta star, look good, can, and you're rocking one of my favorite color. And someone else said, I had to do a double take, thought you were Riley. Someone else posted this, Candy, I love you so much. You inspire me to go uh, get it, keep up the good work, and another commenter said, look, just look, also, why in the world is it that you are the one with the busiest schedule and always look on time, all the time, a fan, another fan told Candy, you and your daughter be scaring me, y'all almost are like identical twins, um, then another commenter wrote, Candy shared another video for Black History Month. Her fans appreciated her post and they made sure to praise her in the comments. Happy hashtag Black History Month today. I want to put the spotlight on hashtag Robert Johnson, founder of BT, and thank you for his contribution to entertainment. Candy captured her video. Fans appreciated Candy post and made sure to praise her. Uh, her in initiative in the comments. And it says Candy has been living her best life since she welcomed her baby girl, Blaze Tucker, into the world. 
and that's pretty much um it for that article but i have to say what world is she trying to solidify herself into one that's going to become uh, a bunch of pain and, and strife later on when it's time to pay the piper uh what's going to happen then again she had a incident at her restaurant due to no fault of her own i'm allegedly thinking um just happenstance she had to have someone come in on valentine's day which if you look up the rituals for valentine's day pagan holiday just look it up and you're gonna find a fascinating story about the history of valentine's day and how it came about uh, and to actually have that happen at her restaurant it kind of put some pieces together so no one died thank you for that but people got injured you think of the number the numerology um the gematria of it all you and you know shit uh her former employee she had tried to not pay him his labor working him like a slave over there and not paying him and they settled it out of court so they told you cannon was at some fault and then she tried to get the record sealed when no one could definitely get a hold of what had transpired and what she had to pay this young man then the young man had testified that she was going around taking ideas from him and using them for her own meaning the inception of the olg game not the name but just the whole concept of it all okay got even snoop doll up there even selling his son out okay and we done did videos on that you got tupac you know throwing up the hand signs with that son Emlyn, uh behind him and it's just dehumanizing him and demasculating himself as well then again like i said for those who could see uh you can know that that that's like hell she was in and posing and that's just like a dehumiliation ritual they did to tupac you know trying to make him seem like he was gay and he wanted you know maybe another gay man to get into it with him or he was advertising himself for that gay life you know whatever so sometimes gay is not being gay is not a choice it's something you're being forced into and you just um deal with it because that's basically what you wanted you wanted the rich and famous life and some things like i said you pay a cost for it all right but that's all i had for this video y'all get down in the comments y'all tell me what y'all thought about it my perspectives on it uh what y'all feel about it do y'all agree do y'all disagree do y'all think that i'm fetching i'm going too far I'm, I'm going down a rabbit hole and i have no proof i have no uh real what do you call it evidence and you might be all right it's just speculation and indie windows over here i'm not sure but i'm like why can't you not do these hand signs why do you have to do the hand signs? Why do you have to do the covering up on one eye? Why do you have to be, um, what do you call it, doing some strange things for some change? Why do you have to be out here tearing, excuse me, tearing down other women on a platform that you help build? I mean, everything you got going on with the Real Housewives of Atlanta is total chaotic and it's demeaning women. I mean, you know, every time we see an episode, somebody cussing out, you know, somebody, somebody trying to fight somebody, somebody trying to use uh, verbal cussing words, and then want to swear up and down that they're a good person, uh, you know, making another person look bad, talk about them bad. It's just a lot of whole rah, 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 rah. And I'm like, that seems to be the whole uh, dynamics of television today. It's more on what can we do to, that's the ratchetest thing that we can get and attract people to watch. And maybe they want to, you know, put it in their lives. And I tell you, it is a strong thing about when you're together with a, song, a certain person for a while and you start looking like them. Because I'm telling you, honey, Candy show did look like that boy. Uh, she was going to marry and help take care of his six or seven kids. And Mama Joyce wasn't having it. She said, uh -uh, we got to do something. So I'm like, Mama Joyce, did you have something set up for that young man? <laughs> <laughs> that's just allegedly honey that is just allegedly and i tell you I, I i i don't know i don't know it's a mystery remain to be exposed
But again, y'all get down in the comments. Please interact with each other. But make sure you be nice to one another when you're in that interaction. See, that's that X that I was telling you about. That you're going to see a lot of artists are doing the X sign. Because you don't have to do that. You know, she was pretty beautiful. Why are you going to take a... Ah, I, just, I can go on and on and on to try to find some way of explanation of why these people do what they do to pay homage to somebody uh, as in the devil scene, but yet they want to fool people that they're doing things uh, for the Lord and all of that. But, like I said, it always be wolves and sheep's clothing trying to play the game. But... Everything that's done in the dark will come to light. You can best believe that. But that's all I have for that video, guys. And we're going to work on Nene next. We're going to go all through the housewives so we can try to find some enlightenment, okay, on what's going on. What are we really seeing here? What are they doing to the black family? <laughs> okay, that's where we're going with that. All right, but y'all, again, get down in those comments, interact with one another, be nice, like I said, and um, definitely share and like my videos. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please do so, because I feel that it's interesting. That's Miss Vanessa Williams. Where is she at these days? Okay, I guess they're telling me to hush. I shouldn't ask. Okay, but anyway, um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the uh, channel, what are you waiting on? You like coming over to the house? You like drinking? You like um, holding up a conversation, making your comments? Go on and join in with the family. We would love to have you, okay? We would love to have you because we're always over here putting our opinions down, uh, saying what we feel. We're trying to be free from fake fuckery foolishness fraudulent behavior we just want to speak our mind people accept it for what it is on subject matter and we move on to the next video okay but y'all be blessed uh loving and kissing and hugging on miss anna banana hopefully you're getting some key keys out of my video uh hopefully everything will start to turn anew be refreshed for you and you can get to feeling better all right so i'm still praying for you uh all of my family members on youtube please continue to pray for her and anybody else that just haven't asked for uh prayer or whatever go on you know you can put your comments in now we'll pray for you honey because as many prayers go up the lord sends plenty of blessings down all right but that's all i had i will talk to y'all next video good night